there's a little switch at the side of the tape and when you flick that switch you sort of you seal the tape you can't it, it, it's like the seal's broken if you want to reuse this tape after you've bulk erased it which we used to do a lot of i mean this is a 30 minute tape we wouldn't be using 30 minute tapes we use 10 minute tapes so there's still a lot of wastage on that tape because the music video would be three minutes so 10 minutes tape was was an expensive piece of kit so we used to erase them we used to put them through the machine and then you go through the machine, you get it out the other side, and we used to just dump them in a sort of bin. But then you, they could be reused. You could put sellotape over this bit, and then you could reuse the tape. So the tapes were reused, um, which was probably a cost issue. Um, not necessarily for going on air, but they were used for lots of other things. Um, so, yeah, that was definitely a cost issue. And the 30 minute you might have used for a longer programme. Um, but these went to the studio and they went off to edits. They might do a first edit on a reused tape um, and that would that would probably save an awful lot of money. So a lot of tapes were erased on the bulk eraser. Um, yeah, and then you, you'd peel off the barcode label and you could just put another label on the top. I mean, it is a long time ago. It's hard to remember why we were actually erasing them. I was, I was just trying to think, why on earth were we doing all that erasing? But we spent hours erasing tapes. So it, I think it was the cost issue. Yeah, because it was more in the technology then was it was more valuable, wasn't it? It wasn't quite as throwaway as it is now. You wouldn't have a, something, a tape like this and just think you're going to lob it in the bin. It would need to be reused. That's, you know, like the one inch, it was reused and it was stored. It was it was it, it was valuable enough to be stored in a in an underground, very secure environment so that it was safe and we could retrieve it if we needed to. And we did do that a lot. So, yeah, the, the, the hardware was valuable. And that was very valuable because that was archive footage. A lot of it was archive footage of unplugged performances, people that maybe had, you know, had done a, an unplugged or George Michael with Elton John, that one product, that one performance, which was really, you know, it was a one-off. Um, at Wembley, for instance, you know, when Elton John came on and did The Candle in the Wind with with George Michael, that would have been on, you know, that, well, that was somewhere and that was really important, that was logs and we could retrieve that to use that particular recording, so.